Hey everyone, and welcome back to the multi-dimensional journey. This is your host, Ayahuasca Carr. And today, I've done a video on this. I did it like last year, but I just love this topic so much. I'm doing another one. So we're going to talk about day ceremonies versus night ceremonies. And I guess my experiences around them, and I definitely have my preferences. So we'll go into that. So um, if you... Uh, like this channel, please subscribe um, so you can stay up to date with videos. If you like this video, please like it. And if you know a friend that could benefit from this, please share it with them. So let's talk about this a little bit. Traditionally, ayahuasca is served at night um, for, for many different reasons. Um, it's, it's, it's always been traditional in that way. Um, I think the nighttime represents a time of healing. Um, the dark represents healing. Um, I think due to ayahuasca's, um, basically how exposed it makes somebody, how vulnerable it makes somebody. I think that's another reason why it's done in the dark. Um, and I, I have enjoyed my times at nighttime ceremonies. I have loved every single one of them. I couldn't tell you I felt that way while I was going through them. <laughs> but in hindsight, I think my collection of experiences have served me well. I, um, I've drank as early as 6 o'clock and as late as 1 a.m. So I have a wide variety of, of times that I've drank. Um, and I mean, I think for me, most of my energy is when I first wake up in the day. And I personally, when I go into a ceremony, I really want to feel optimal. I want to feel energized. I want to feel ready to receive the medicine. And the thing I've noticed for me is when I do ceremony at night, I can feel pretty fatigued sometimes. Um, it's kind of, it takes more effort. Um, although by the time I take my first dose, I, I, you know, I totally forget about that, honestly, and I'm in it, you know, but mentally it's, it takes a lot of energy just to be present during that time. Or in the morning, I, I feel like it takes very little for me. I can wake up you know, have some water, do some meditation, and then do my ceremony. Um, so the thing with, the other thing I've noticed with daytime ceremonies um, is that my visuals have been incredible, and at times, I will say this, overwhelming. Because when you are in the daytime, you see more of your reality. So I think this is another thing that daytime ceremonies do, that nighttime ceremonies do not, which it's it mixes in your third dimensional reality with the medicine. And you feel more blended and like, uh, you just feel more present, but everything around you is not recognizable, right? Because your, your visions are so deep with ayahuasca. I, and not for everyone, but in my experience, they have been, especially during the daytime. Everything, I mean, mandalas, yeah, like I see mandalas that are like rainbows and the whole room is breathing. And, and at, you know, in the beginning, this was very overwhelming for me. But it was good training to let go and, and let go of my fear and overcome my fear of being so basically overstimulated. Um... And so I've noticed, and then the other thing too, so when you wake up in the morning and, and you do the ceremony, um, flow-wise, logistically, you end up, you end up ending around like five o'clock. And so you have some dinner and then you maybe process and you journal a little bit and then you go right to sleep, right? So you get a full night's rest and then you wake up the next day and you continue your processing even more. So I would say even flow and logistic wise, to me, daytime ceremonies have definitely made more sense for my central nervous system. And just preparation wise, integration, it has just felt 
a lot more softer on the body. Nighttime ceremonies fatigue me. I end up staying way, you know, I'm staying up way later, later than I expected. And then you wake up early for integration. You, you know, you get lagged on your sleep. Um, a lot of things that my body doesn't like with nighttime ceremonies. But at this point, I've definitely done more nighttime ceremonies than daytime ceremonies. Um, usually daytime ceremonies are offered right now, what I've noticed, um, by people who are like doing individual sits. Um, I think it's very rare that I've come across a regular group daytime ceremony. I know places that run regular retreats. The daytime ceremony is kind of like a treat. It's like, hey, we're doing daytime ceremony. Like, aren't you excited? Because we never do this. And so I have personally found this interesting. Um, I know whenever the day comes to to serve the medicine and be in that space, I'm 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 getting ready to do that. Um, I'm definitely not there yet, but this is something I plan on doing is serving the medicine in the daytime. Um, and I, I know this goes against tradition and, and all of these things. Um, there is something special about it though that I don't think a lot of people talk about. Um, I think it flows better for the human system, uh, a, a lot of different things. Um, so comment below your thoughts and feelings around this. Like, have you sat in daytime ceremonies? What have your experiences been versus nighttime? Um, question comments, uh, alike are welcome and, uh, would love to hear from you. And, um, as always remember why you came here and this has been Ayahuasca Carr with the multi-dimensional journey.